Hi everyone, welcome back. So whenever I posted uh, some Java questions and their solutions, almost everyone was asking me to uh, post some SQL questions and their solutions and how to prepare for them and all. So I have already uh, said it times and times that that there is a playlist uh, in my channel uh, named as SQL playlist so that is the basic uh, SQL knowledge you need to know uh, beforehand also I have mentioned that along with that you need to know the date time things for this SQL solution okay so the date time part is not included in that uh, SQL so for these SQL questions I am going to uh, solve and uh, teach you how to solve this I am assuming that you have already covered those SQL basics uh, p videos or the playlist from my channel or from wherever you want you can do that but uh, you should know the basics before uh, going to through these questions so if you have not done it yet just do subscribe and check the playlist once it will take hardly one to two hours now let's move on to the questions so the questions we can see here is uh, first there is a database schema given so we can see there are four tables the tables are customer policy uh, policy enrollment and payment okay there are four tables that are interlinked and the pk is for primary key and fk is for foreign key okay that foreign key is for linking those tables okay so you can understand the table from here like uh, if there are the attributes name and their data types length these things are given along with the table names okay so the questions we are going to have now is basically uh, here you can see so the question is write a query to display the customer id policy name and policy end date okay so the question is that we need to write these three things and then we need to sort the result based on the customer id in ascending order so let's check the tables first where we can find this these details so we can see that the uh, customer id and we can find from the policy enrollment table and the policy name we can find from the policy table which is uh, connected with this policy enrollment table with the foreign key policy id also the uh, end date that is the policy end date for uh, to get that we need to add the date of enrollment and the number of years okay so from the date of enrollment and after how many uh, years it will end we already given that that is number of years so we need to add that uh, the number of years that is the duration of the policy uh, with the a date of enrollment that is the start date of the policy then we can get the policy end date so both these two are in the policy uh, enrollment table now you need to see like how you can solve this so the basic things you can do like uh, how to use the select command so using select command you can easily do the, uh, show the customer id and policy name but for uh, making the policy in date, date we need to add these two other dates so how to do that so for that i am going to teach you an additional prerequisite what is uh, not there in my playlist so the date add function today i am going to teach you so you can see from there that the date add function adds a time or date interval to a given date so what is the syntax syntax is date add and there are three parameters inside that but first one is interval second one is number third one is date so by interval we mean year day month whatever like which interval we are going to add are we going to add a year or a day day or a month so that we need to mention and by the number we means uh, how many uh, interval we are going to add like suppose we are adding one interval uh, interval as year and we are going to add one year so we need to write year at the inter intervals place and uh, one in the number place so from this example you can see like add one year to a date so the date is given here uh, so we are using the date add function and we are passing three variables for the first variable we have written as year we have written the year as uh, by spelling we can also write y y y y that is 4 y for it so we will just uh, stick to year now okay so we are writing y a year year that means it will add a year and how many years it will add so that we are passing the second parameter as one that will that is it will add one year from the given date the date we have already passed in the third parameter okay so now uh, let's remind the question so we need to show uh, we need to write a query which will display customer id policy name and policy end date uh, from this uh, given schema or the given uh, tables okay so now let's check the solution we also need to sort the um, details of the result uh, into ascending order based on customer id so let's check so first we will write that select customer id and policy name okay because that is uh, like simple thing with using select query for the third thing that is the end date policy end date we need to use the date add function so we are using the date add function and the first parameter we are uh, passing 
year because the um, duration of the policy is given to us in years that is number of years so we are going to add the years so first parameter is year and the second parameter which is the duration of the policy so we can get that for different policies or different customer the duration is different so that is given as a particular value in the tables uh, so we can check the attribute name is number of years so we will use uh, number of years uh, in the second parameter that is how many year we will add and for the third third parameter that is the from which date we need to add the year so for that we have given the start date okay the policy start date so we will use that policy start date uh, as the third parameter so you can see from here uh, from the tables that there are given number of years and policy start date in the policy ta uh, enrollment table itself so we will use the date of enrollment as the third parameter so the, this function will add the uh, years that is the number of years functions uh, value uh, to the uh, date of enrollment attributes value okay this will add these two attributes value and give us the end date and it we will rename it as uh, policy end date then we will uh, need to see like from which tables we are going to get this so we will going to get this from two tables that is the policy enrollment table and policy table so then we will uh, join these two tables or we will link these two tables by which uh, value so we, we can see that the foreign key for these two tables is policy id okay so for the policy enrollment dot policy id in the policy enrollment table is will be equals to policy dot policy id for the policy table so these two uh, for these two tables this policy id attribute is similar so we will uh, like equalize those uh, we will equalize those two uh, attributes and we will uh, join or link these two tables and we will run our query and at the end we need to sort it so we will use the order by function you have already uh, learned the order by function from my playlist if you have not go and check it and we will use the order by uh, then uh, which uh, uh, attribute we need, need to uh, sort it uh, uh, according because uh, we need to uh, sort it according the customer id so we will be writing order by uh, policy enrollment dot customer id now so order of sorting is given as ascending order so the order by function uh, sorts into ascending order by default so we do not need to write anything for that ascending order if it was descending order then we will need we will have to write uh, desc for uh, sorting it into descending order but for sorting into ascending we no need to write anything and this last part helps in linking the